Can you imagine a future where your car's windshield transforms into a personal cinema or gaming screen while you're on autopilot? Welcome to the future of in-car entertainment. We've come a long way from the days of cassette players and AM-FM radios. Today, we're talking about an evolution that's more than just touchscreen displays and superior audio systems. We're talking about in-car holographic displays, a revolution set to redefine our driving experiences. This isn't just another gadget for the tech savvy among us. It's a leap that promises to transform every car into a personal entertainment oasis. Picture this, your favorite movie or game unfolding before your eyes, right on your windshield, while your car effortlessly navigates the roads. Intriguing, isn't it? With in-car holographic displays, this is not just a far-fetched dream, but a reality that's waiting around the corner. Now that we have set your imagination alight, let's delve into how this amazing technology works. So how do in-car holographic displays work? It's all about light manipulation. To understand this, let's start from scratch. Holography is a technique that records light scattered from an object and then presents it in a way that appears three-dimensional. This is achieved through a process called light diffraction and interference. Now imagine a pond with still water. When you throw a stone into it, the stone disturbs the water and creates ripples. These ripples are akin to the light waves that make up a hologram. When these light waves meet, they create a three-dimensional image by a process called interference. In simple terms, a hologram is a detailed record of a light field, rather than a picture snapped by a camera. It's created using lasers, which produce light of a single wavelength. This light is split into two beams, the object beam and the reference beam. The object beam bounces off the object and returns to the recording medium, where it meets the reference beam. This encounter is what creates our 